How important is the size of your golf grip? Well, we're gonna find out today. I'm Alex here at Golf Magic, and we're gonna talk about the golf grip. In the golf club, there are three components, the head, the shaft, and the golf grip. This is your main point of contact with the grip itself, and I think it's something that people don't realize how important it actually is, because 50% of amateur golfers are using the wrong size golf grip. That's right, 50%. So a lot of you guys watching this video probably don't understand what the golf grip is about, and you're probably using the wrong one. We see a lot more now on the PGA and European Tour. A lot of professional golfers are now going over to larger grips, mainly mid-size and jumbo grips. Most notably, Bryson DeChambeau, who's gone to these ginormous golf grips that are even bigger than these jumbo grips in my hands today. These ones here are jumbo grips by Golf Pride. Golf Pride are renowned for being at the best golf grips on tour and wherever you want to purchase them from. This isn't a sponsored post, I just personally really like Golf Pride. And these ones here, the Tour Velvet Jumbo, I put on all of my clubs and there's a few reasons behind that. Jumbo and mid-size or oversized grips can help in a variety of ways. And the first one is if your hands are a bit larger. There are a variety of methods to measure your hands, usually from the crease to the top of your tallest finger. And if it is over, let's say nine inches, you're gonna be between mid-size and jumbo. Another way to do it is if you hold the golf grip here in your left hand, if you're a right-handed golfer, if you wrap your fingers around, if your fingers are lightly pressing onto your thumb pad, absolutely fine. If there's a big gap, that means the golf grip is too big. But if you are pressing quite firmly with a lot of your fingernails into your thumb pad, that means that the golf grip is too small. And that is very common with amateur golfers. I don't wear that big of a golf grip. I'm between a medium and a large but when I do it between these measurements, I go down to a mid-size and jumbo grip. If your golf grip is too small, it means that you are likely releasing the club a bit too quickly, and they're gonna have a bit of a, a bit of an erratic release pattern for your downswing, meaning that maybe the ball can go left. Doesn't mean the ball will go left all the time for you golf swingers who are hitting it out to win. Doesn't mean you're gonna be hitting it left with a draw, but it can impact your downswing. If the golf grip is too big, it means that you are gonna to struggle to really have any club face control, meaning that it's gonna go left and right. So golf grip is too big isn't that common to see because most golfers are having that standard grip. So if you do struggle with your club face control and are hitting it left and hitting it right, have a look at the golf grip. As well as this for the golfers who are maybe a little bit older in age, if you do have arthritis in your hands, I'm a bit prone to some arthritis in my fingers, a golf grip that is a bit larger helps substantially. This is because you don't grip it as hard, you usually have a bit of a lighter grip and it's not gonna be as strenuous on the joints. That's really helpful and an added bonus is you actually may hit it further because being a little bit looser, not having all that tension in your wrists and in your hands means that you'll swing freer and use other parts of your body, let's say activate your chest and your legs a lot more in the downswing and maybe gain a few extra yards. So why are pros doing it? Why are PGA Tour players now leaning towards these jumbo and mid-size grips? Well, it's partly down to that extra yardage and also it's partly down to that release pattern from the downswing to the follow through, they don't want their wrist to be active. They don't want that release pattern to be all over the place. Having slightly larger grips means that they can really know where the club face is throughout their backswing and in the downswing. So it's a lot more useful for players who are really focusing on the millimeters in their backswing and also their downswing. It will take a while to get used to if you're changing from something, let's say a standard or even undersized grip to a mid-size or jumbo. It does feel a bit alien to begin with. I'll show the difference between a jumbo and a standard grip now, and you can see there is quite a significant difference, but it can help your golf game. If you guys are unsure about golf grips and which ones you should be using, there is a way to try it out. You could simply just get one jumbo golf grip and try it out on any of your clubs and see if it helps you. If you're still a bit uncertain, go to your local PGA Pro and ask them, and they'll be sure to help you out. I've got all jumbo grips now from my wedge to my driver. I've actually got an even larger grip on my driver, so I'm gonna document my process over the next year or so and let you know how I get on. Golf grips is one of the most important parts of the golf club, and as I've said, it does get misunderstood a little bit because we're more focusing on which golf grip we should get in terms of a multi-compound, a lambkin, things like that, but the sizing is really, really important. If you guys have any questions about the golf grip today, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. And if you want to see more instructional content about the golf club, let me know down in the comments. If you guys are new to the Golf Manet YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos. Stay tuned for January because we've got a lot of very exciting content coming soon. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.